Alright, so this would be uh, my update at EDC for uh, 2024. Um, I transitioned, I got into EDC stuff probably in the HVAC trade because I end up having to carry so many tools with me um, and, and just things to get through problems, problem solving. And uh, I discovered that there's not enough pockets. Um, and then once you load your pants down with so much stuff, it gets heavy, put stuff on your belts, Leatherman pouches, things like that. It just gets, it weighs you down. Um, so I transitioned to a sling bag, this, um, and this puts the weights on your shoulder, uh, on your core, where you're strongest. And this weighs, the way I have it kitted out, 2.6 pounds. So I sling it over, I wear it in the front sometimes, I'll sling it under my arm, on my back if I can. Um, don't notice it, I love it. I absolutely love this form of carry. Um, and then I get to carry all the fun things I like to carry and be prepared for situations that others aren't. So, um, start with my what I wear on my body and then we'll go into the bag. So cold weather, I keep a Carhartt beanie. Um, simple, underneath I keep this, this is a halo band, I think is what they call them. It's uh, runners and bikers wear them. It's got a silicone <coughs> band on the front. So I sweat a lot in the summertime working what I do, commercial HVAC up on roofs and stuff this keeps my head dry it's antimicrobial and all that so it doesn't start to stink or nothing like that it's it's really you know nice and clean and it keeps my hair in place i've got one one of those uh viking cuts and growing my hair out so i like it to be manage manageable during the day um so that's uh headwear for warmth and whatnot um uh, airpods in my ears most days um on my wrist i keep uh just got this, it's a Texas Bushcraft uh, paracord bracelet, and it's got the fire cord in it and whatnot. I just thought it was kind of cool. My girlfriend got me this uh, leather bracelet, um, so I wear that as well. I like bracelets. And then an Apple Watch series, I don't know, it's old, scratched up, beat up. Um, I didn't get that. Could you try again? She's listening. You're always listening. Wallet, I keep, uh, got this for Christmas. It's a Jack George's Buffalo Skin Wallet. Keep uh, one of those military can openers in there. Sometimes I bring canned food to work. Um, HVAC. I keep Milwaukee wire strippers and a Klein 10 in 1 screwdriver. Absolutely love this if you do HVAC or anything that requires quarter inch and 5 16 screws. This uh, can quickly transition between the two. And it's got Trader Core uh, bit in there, thermostat screwdriver, Phillips, and flathead. Front right pocket, I keep Milwaukee Fastback. I used to carry the older one that was just the knife. And then, uh, either, I don't know if they came out with it or if I just noticed it too late, but they came out with the version that has the uh, screwdriver on it and that is really uh, I like tools that do multiple purposes in case I only have that um, in my vest which I wear every day front right pocket I keep a Nebo rechargeable flashlight uh, I don't like that it's a pri proprietary charger it's got the mag based charger and the reason for that is because the charger is at home and if I need to charge it during the day because I'm using it a lot I can't so the next one will be different I like type C stuff um, Keep two speed strips from a 357 Ruger SP-101, which usually is on my right hip in a outside the waistband Bianchi leather holster. I think it's a, yeah, it's a Bianchi. Um, keep a belt. I wear suspenders underneath everything because I like my pants to be where they should be as a man. <laughs> I don't want to be constantly fiddling with my pants and having shirts fall out that are tucked and, and uh, pants falling down. So that's what I carry on the outside. Um, yeah, so moving over to the bag, this is the Van VanQuest Dendrite, um, small. I absolutely love this thing. I highly recommend everybody pick this up if you're interested in sling bags or fanny bags, however you want to carry it. I prefer it over the shoulder like this, but I can put it up on the hip if I had to. Front pocket, I keep a pen. I'm always writing sign-off, you know, sign-in sheets or NDAs going into these facilities and stuff. This is a brass pen. Uh, it's made by Smoother Pro. 
it's okay, works good. I've got a Pilot G2 1.0 green insert on the inside. That's my favorite. Um, then I keep a Zippo lighter with a Ranger band for grip. It's small, I've got larger hands. This helps me uh, just be able to grip it. And it's got the butane insert in it with the two torches. Moving on to the larger pocket, I keep uh, Altoids 10, which has ibuprofen, boo-boo band-aids, uh, Victorinox knife, a small big lighter, just small stuff. You've seen the Altoids kits. They're, you know, if you're into that type of thing, I am. I think it's pretty neat. Keep a 511. Uh, flashlight takes double A's. I've got a spare one in there, so it takes one double A. I've got a backup if I need it. And then I keep a Leatherman rebar. And then a Benchmade uh, folding auto just as a nice uh, knife to be able to do things with that I don't care about because I already broke the tip off of it, but I keep it sharp. I keep a Roby Vaughn uh, A8 light in here. It's a nice EDC light. It's got a black light, or not a black light, a UV light. Um, a red light, red flashing, uh, more of a floodlight on the side, and then it's got a directed beam as well. It's very bright. I think it's over 300 lumens or something like that. In this front pocket, I keep a mainstream uh, beard brush, leather pouch, with, and then this is made of some kind of bone or something like that, but it's a beard brush. It's really nice. I like it a lot, keeping the beard in order. And then I keep it right in the rain pad in that same pouch with a space pen and a floss stick. So that's the inside of the bag. AirPod case, I don't know if I missed that. Um, and then on the outside, in these little they got these, uh, the, the straps made of seatbelt material, and they've got these little loops where you can put stuff. And so I chose, I started carrying mace because I work close to downtown Portland sometimes, or in downtown Portland. There's a lot of drugs and stuff, and I, of course, you want to measure, measure, you know, if you get into a bad situation, you don't want to just pull out a gun and start shooting people. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter if, you know, if it's a drugged out homeless guy, a lot of times something like this is going to be enough of a deterrent to keep you out of court. Um, and just take care of the situation with something like that and get out. Nobody wants to have to shoot somebody. So I think levels of force are necessary in EDC. On that point, behind that, oh, my favorite feature, which I came up with myself, this is tucked in there, but because I like it to be readily accessible and not losable, I keep it in this pouch, but I also keep it on one of those retractable keychain leashes. So. You know, it's not going to fall out when I'm throwing this bag around and some kid's going to get a hold of it and hurt themselves. So that's on there. Slides right in there nice and easy. On the very back of the bag, I keep a self defense knife. It's a K bar pocket strike, I believe is what it's called. And the sheath is back there in the very back pocket. And I have it kind of tied in to where the it's not, it won't come out uh, with the sheath. The sheath will stay no matter what. And it's got just enough retention that it will move no matter what I do with the pouch. So when I'm driving, it's typically like that. You know, if I want to access something, I flip it up. A lot of times it'll be behind my back while I'm working. But yeah, that's uh, EDC for 2024. Pretty basic, but every, it's got everything I need. I keep, you know, when I walk to work, I carry quite a bit of gear back and forth. One, it's good exercise. I park my van a mile away from where I live, so I have a walk to and from work a little bit, um, but I do drive this home. I just have to park further away from my house than I'd like. But I carry 64 ounces of water all day. I keep it in this large, I think this is made by uh, Tiger, I can't remember what they, they make a lot of stuff, uh, this, this type of tactical type stuff. Um, I also have a dog vest that they made Tiger, one, ti one Tigress. I think is what it's called, and I got a 511 patch on there because I like 511. And inside there, I, you know, sometimes I go in with just this. I keep some gum, uh, whiskey sticks, which are just uh, whiskey soaked toothpicks, which I like. And it gives me enough water all day long, even during the summertime, that I don't ever feel like I need more, and it's double insulated, so it keeps it cold. And then down between the seats in my van, I've got a locking box. Uh, which I keep my full get home bag in, which is a 511 Rush. Uh, I think it's a 12.0 or 12 liters or however they judge that. And that's got 
a full, I would say a full kit in it, except for like obviously body armor or anything like that, but it's got a tool pouch, some other EDC stuff. I usually keep my beanie slid through one of the top uh, rings in it, so it's always with me. Umbrella. Uh, when I'm not at work, it's got a Glock 19 with a paddle holster and a TLR1 uh, with a 17 round magazine and a second paddle uh, holster for two 17 round magazines. So I can slide those in my pants if ship went south. You know, I live next to Portland. <coughs> uh, I've got a full kit of medical and a tourniquet in there. Um, it, that can be a whole separate video, but that's how I go to work every single day. And I work all over the place and I like to have exactly what I need and never feel like I'm without. That's just me, I don't know if it's fucking trauma or what, but I like to have my shit. I don't want to rely on somebody else for something, so I have everything I need. But yeah, that's it. That is uh, what I carry. EDC videos are popular. I like EDC shit. Kind of interesting what people choose to carry, so thought I'd make a video. So thanks for watching.